Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying five new Pillsbury soft bake cookies. Uh, these are the sugar with drizzled icing. These are confetti. Um, these are chocolate chip. These are peanut butter with chocolate drizzle. And these are butterscotch chocolate chip. Butterscotch, yeah, butterscotch chocolate chip. So these uh, uh, were $2.98 uh, at Walmart. They're, we have only seen them at Walmart. Uh, have not seen them in any other store. So if you find them somewhere else, you can let us know. Uh, but Walmart is where you're going to find them. Uh, and we have found them in two different places. We found them in the Cookie Owl. And we also found them in the seasonal display where they have like the cake mixes for Easter. They also had the chocolate chip were in that area. Uh, you can also order them online from, uh, if you go to walmart.com because some of these weren't actually on the shelf. So I came home and I ordered them online and they delivered them to my front door. So they had them there in the back of the store, but they hadn't put them out on the shelf yet. So it was interesting how that happened too. So, but they should be able to, uh, you should be able to order them online. So these are the sugar with drizzled icing. Two cookies are 140 calories. There are nine servings. So 18 cookies. And I like this. It does make that noise. Yes, it does. Mm. They, uh, no, you know, they show pink on the front, but I hadn't really paid attention. It looked like a white at a, at a quick glance. Those are a lot smaller than I was thinking. And um, <laughs> they're, it's actually pink drizzle. Mm. Just smells yeah. really sweet. These, uh, the website is pillsbury.com. That's a very small cookie for only getting two for, what is it? Seven mm. to each. Yeah, that's a small cookie. It's really not much bigger than an Oreo, is it? So I guess that makes sense. That tastes okay, but it's very, very bland. I mean, it's it's okay. I really don't even care for it. Really? Mm -mm, not at all. It's very, very chewy. You know, there's a is there a there's little in there. is there a little chemical like flavor too? Yeah, there's some funkiness in there that I don't care uh -huh. for. I don't know if it's the drizzle on top. I, I think it's the cookie. I think it's the cookie itself. Cookie. I don't yeah. like sugar cookies anyway, so they all taste bad to me. So, but they don't taste like this. Um, normally, like if you have a, a loft house sugar cookie, it does not taste like this. Yeah, it does this, have a little bit of a chemical. There's a funkiness to it that I. It's hard to describe, it's just a, it's, it's almost like, um, and these are brand new cookies, but it's almost like it's gone off. That's the kind of funkiness that I'm getting from it. So I would not buy those again. I just They're, don't care for those at the, all. To me, it tastes more uh, doughy, flour-like uh, flavors. That's what I'm getting more than anything. Slight chemical flavor, but I mean, they're edible. They're not edible, I would not touch one. I would- You would not get another one. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I would probably put those in my pile. <laughs> the bad pile. Uh, these these smell incredible. These have a much better smell. I mean, the, the just the... Okay. Smell these. Really, yeah. really, really get a good whiff of the funkiness. Yeah, they just smell like okay. that flower in me. Yeah, smell this. Yeah, they smell like vanilla. It smells like vanilla. It smells sweet. The, these, cookie, the sugar cookies literally smell like like flour dough. Like these flour. are fewer calories. The confetti ones are, it says made with real butter, a blend of real butter and shortening. Two cookies are 130 calories of the confetti. So this is the lowest calorie one of the bunch that we're gonna be trying. It's definitely better. Oh. And to me, it's still very bland, but no. it still has a vanilla, a good vanilla flavor. That is what other companies would describe as birthday cake. Yeah, I agree. It's a, a, a strong vanilla. It's yeah. vanilla. Those are those are okay for me. To me, it's amazing the the night and day difference between, but, the, sugar. But between the two cookies. I mean, literally, it's a night and day. It is completely different. Completely yeah. different experience. Those confetti cookies have, have such a great vanilla flavor. 
Now see, I would get those all the time. Yeah, they are pretty strong vanilla. It's just they're kind of plain for me. I don't like just plain vanilla usually. And the texture, except ice cream, then I like vanilla ice cream. I don't know. Why. The texture of these is they're soft baked cookies. They say that on the package. That's exactly what they are. They're very, they're very chewy. soft. Yeah, they they're good. Chewy to them. Getting the first two, one or two out is hard. Oh, uh, this is uh, 140 calories. So these are the same calories as the first one we tried. And these are chocolate chip. I love the added texture of the chocolate mm -hmm. chips. Mm. You get the old um, chocolate kick. Oh, those are very good. They're good. I would, like a regular cookie has some butteriness to them. These don't really have that butteriness to them, but they're good. I could eat that whole package though. Yeah, they're good. And they're not, they don't seem overly sweet either. The chocolate's good, and just the added texture of that mm -hmm. makes it very pleasurable for me to eat. And so those would be dangerous to me because I'm going to keep wanting more. Yeah. And I bet you could heat those in the microwave for a few seconds and it Probably. would be incredible. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. Okay, now what do you want to try first? Um, you can do the peanut butter. I think it's going to be plain, plainer than you think. Peanut butter? Okay. These are the highest calorie ones. These are. Um, Cause it's got peanut butter. You know. <laughs> two is 150 calories. Automatically, I have a lot of calories to them. I could just dump them out. Getting the first one, I'm telling you, it's probably good out of there. Here you go. Maybe uh, little fingers. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Your little or fingers will. Help. No, I meant like a child. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, these are peanut butter with chocolatey drizzle. What do smell? I'm still not sure. Ooh, I like they smell. I'm not sure I like the texture yet. Oh, I do. I like the texture. Oh, I could just smell them all day. They smell really good. You get that little sugar crystals on the top. You get that texture. Mm-hmm. Mm. That tastes like your typical um, peanut butter cookie. I but, think I, I think I like the two peanut butter cookies better, but those are good. You like these? Mm -hmm. They're good. These are my favorite so far. None of these have blown me away. I love peanut butter and a lot of peanut butter cookies, like the ones you're talking about. I'm surprised you say that because honestly, to me, the ones in the tube. They're good, but they don't have a strong peanut butter mm -hmm. flavor. I don't think these do either. See, I do. I, I really do these like These taste just about like those to me. They're very, uh, yeah, they do, but they're a little bit more intense. Maybe a little bit more. And they're sweet, and you do get that, the sugar, mm -hmm. uh, the little crystals. It's, I think that is delicious. Uh, that's much better than what I expected. Yeah. I like that a lot. And lastly, we have butterscotch and mm -hmm. chocolate chip, and we're going back on calories to... Two cookies are 140. You just get out. You were you were better off than I was. Really not much to look at. You got a couple of butterscotch chips and Ooh. chocolate chips in there. Really smell. The peanut butter smell the best too though. They they smell so good. If you like peanut butter. No, I like those. Mm-hmm. Lost the chocolate chip. No, yeah, you can't lose the chip. Um, I like those because they they have a really sweet flavor to them. Mm -hmm. Even have a little saltiness to them. I don't know why, but they, they seem like they do. Those are good. Mm. The chocolate chip I could eat. The peanut butter I could eat. The other ones I, I, I'd probably. So these are your favorite? Yeah. Okay. Um, the ones, of course, I've made it very clear. The sugar cookies, no way. The one. sugar cookies, I'll be surprised, honestly, if those make it because... Some people might like that flavor. Oh, gosh. It's just... It's, like I said, it just, this just tastes like raw dough to me. To me, the Without competition is with these four right here. That's where the competition is. And even the vanilla ones, the confetti ones are good. They're just vanilla. They're, but they have a good strong vanilla. Yeah, they really are. Like a, it would be described as birthday cake, confetti, cupcake. Mm -hmm. It's it's vanilla. Uh, so your favorite? I are heard you definitely the butterscotch. Butterscotch, and then what? Hmm, probably the chocolate chip. 
Okay. So we're just completely opposite. Well, we're not completely opposite because my favorite's gonna be peanut butter. Love the peanut butter. And then my second will be the butterscotch. Butterscotch is, I think, I think some of the sweeter ones. Third was gonna be chocolate chip, and the last is confetti, but this shows me something. I like the ones best with all the stuff in it. Yeah. So any added texture, I really like the added texture. The confetti don't have that. They have a great flavor, but they don't have necessarily the texture that these do, the chunky pieces. So I just really like the mm -hmm. ones with the chunky pieces. But now, the confetti ones have a lot of uh, uh, colorful confetti in them, and I didn't taste any. No, I didn't eat dyes or anything like that. For no. Me. Uh, these are okay for me. I, like I said, I'm not blown away by any of them. Truth be told, if I was going to say, okay, go pick a cookie out, I wouldn't pick these out of the aisle. I would 10 times rather have these than, um, what is that? The, the Chips Ahoy. The Chips Ahoy. I would too, because Chips Ahoy, yeah. are, in our experience, are always hard. Oh. <laughs> I know well, other people said they're not. Better. These taste better though. They do. The um, I don't, like I said, I, I don't know that I would, I would choose these. I would choose these yeah. over other ones. I would choose these over many other ones. I would choose over other ones. ones. Yeah. I'm saying though, if I if you were to say, hey, go buy a pack of cookies, I wouldn't pick these. I would. There's other ones I would pick instead. Right. Yeah. Well, that's understandable. There's a lot of cookies out yeah. there, so that's understandable. The, these, are, these are okay for me. They're definitely soft batch because there's not really a, a bunch of soft batch out there because we looked at one time for soft batch. And couldn't find any. These are definitely a good soft line of... Soft-baked cookies, yeah. yes. These um, are very soft, definitely soft-baked. Soft-batch is the brand. Yes. Um, so this is really the only ones out there. If you like a chewier, softer mm. cookie, then these are these are definitely worth trying out. And like I said, I absolutely think they would be wonderful if you put them in the microwave for just a couple of seconds yeah. if you have time. It's true. Uh, because I think they would be terrific warmed up. Yeah, that's true. So uh, we'll have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.